guys so i am starting this video later so this was me like a couple days of cleaning but i just finished the bathroom it has been a long process <laughs> um all of january painting trying to figure out what to do next uh finally got my boards up i can't remember if that was up i showed that all in um in any of my last videos um but i finally just painted everything and it is done so Next, um, I'm going to have Derek help me put the hooks on the wall uh, for the towels. And then um, I'm going to have to get new towels. I got a little gift card for my birthday to get some new ones. So I am figuring out what color I want to do. I thought about black, but I'm not sure that it's going to work now that I've painted and everything. So I am going to start by cleaning out the bathroom now that it's all done and painted. And then it's usually our house is a disaster because when I was painting, the kids were just free for all playing. So they were having a good time. Our living room is a mess. Our kitchen is a mess. Um, I have laundry to put away. Um, our room is a mess still. Um, I want to vacuum and mop. So all of that stuff will be um, throughout today and tomorrow. Um, so it is Friday, three o'clock. So let's get clean it. All right, are you guys ready to see this? <laughs> Still putting everything up, but I'm super excited and I gotta obviously clean everything up. But this is the finished product. I love how it turned out. I love how it turned out. It looks super cool. Kind of like, I don't know. Honestly, this picture was kind of my inspiration for this bathroom. It's got like the um, warm neutral color with the black and um, accents of wood so it's still kind of drying a little bit but like I said I love how it ended up turning out so I gotta put toilet paper thing back up there um, clean the floors wipe the counters gotta put the vent back on but I love it Baby, read the fine print, I've got baggage and it's all Gucci, don't get too attached to me. Everybody act like the answer, one love like in the movies, wasting precious time assuming. So as you can see, I was just starting by putting the vent back and putting everything else um, all the tools and that kind of stuff back where it needed to go. And then I was going to deep clean this bathroom. I desperately needed it after the um, remodel process. Um, those were the um, knobs that I wanted to use for towel holders, but didn't end up using because we couldn't figure out the whole um, screw situation just because they're, they were so long. But anyways, just cleaning the mirror now. You'll have to let me know what you guys think of the bathroom now that it's all finished. I absolutely love it. Still do. Um, the black definitely doesn't seem um, super dark, which kind of surprises me. Um, but I think it's be just because I, I do love the black where before with the blue just I didn't love it. So I just <laughs> had to go. But yes, absolutely the bathroom and you'll have to let me know what you think. And here I was just going through the stuff that we have on this little pedestal stand in here of just things that we actually use daily that is just nicer to have on this um, little stand so it's easily accessible. Just our vitamins, um, my go-to everyday sunscreen moisturizer, um, and 
I can't remember all the what all is on there, but stuff that I use daily, I try to keep on there just so it's easily um, accessible, like I said. So now just cleaning Derek's side of the bathroom and getting anybody else. Do you ever see those videos where you clean the bathroom and then the next day um, your husband shaves? I feel like that is always, it always happens, right? Um, but anyways, cleaning off the counters and we just got you can see um we just got some new toothbrushes we got electric toothbrushes i've never had one but they're it's kind of cool i i'm getting used to it um but yeah um we have to plug them in so that they can charge we probably don't have to do that all the time but um that is a new accessory to our countertop in the bathroom now Now I am just wiping down the cabinets. Um, definitely couldn't see in this video, but there was definitely some little kid handprint, handprints all over the cabinets with toothpaste and um, especially the black definitely needs to be wiped down every once in a while because it definitely shows those handprints easily. So um, wiping that down and then moving on to cleaning the rest of the bathroom. <music> Sometimes you just have to spray your floors and clean them with your hands and that is what I did around the toilet just with um, nailing the boards to the walls and fixing the shelves. Um, there was definitely just extra um, drywall dust and that kind of stuff back there so I was <laughs> pleasantly surprised with how dirty that was but so satisfying as well and I actually did end up just cleaning the whole floor like that um sometimes you just got to do that and it just it just feels extra clean that way because you can scrub really hard and get it all really clean really good All right, day two of cleaning. This was on a Saturday and I was just doing some laundry and this right here is my new favorite go-to. I've been using this for almost a whole year now, which is crazy to think that I've been using their products for that long. But um, if you've never heard of the wellness box, definitely check out the link in my description below. They have so many, like I can't even explain to you, so many products from cleaning, supplements, beauty, um, food. Um, I, can't, I literally can't even explain to you how many different things they have, but it is such a great company. Their shipping is super fast. Um, I love that it's made in the U.S. and um, all their stuff is natural, which is amazing. Um, so if you ever um, have questions about them or want to try it out, definitely check out the link in my description and I can help you um, figure that out. Um, but definitely check out their laundry stuff and multi-surface cleaners, that kind of stuff. I, I love their stuff and they have really great scents as well. 
but now I was moving on to putting all the laundry away um, from the past couple days and sometimes you know it just gets piled up and got to separate it all out and then put it all away and um, yeah we just had that happen the past couple days just a lot of laundry so putting that all away now Now I am just vacuuming our bedroom. Um, if you saw right there, we had a suitcase in the corner. We, Derek and I, are going on a trip in a few weeks and the kids are going to some sleepovers here. So it'll be a fun little mom and dad getaway for just a few days. And we are both super excited. The kids are excited to go have sleepovers with their family. And me and Derek are ready and excited for a little getaway, just the two of us. We have not done that in so long. Um, so it's definitely going to be fun. Um, but yeah, now just picking up all the toys, everyday life of a mom, picking up the living room toys and, um, getting that all cleaned up so that I can vacuum in here as well. I know some days with you is paradise, but now you spin me in a web with all your lies. Want you to feel the way I feel inside. I'm reaching out for help, you got me in a riptide You call me crazy now, but you don't understand I'm calling out to you, can you hear a thing? Cause you lit the match, getting nice to flame I'm the TNT, but you're the spark to play all right, so now I am on to the kitchen and living room, or dining room, cleaning up all the toys that the kids have taken out from the downstairs and Quinn's room. Um, they've been playing zoo lately, so they'll take all their stuffed animals out and um, put them all in different places and play, I don't know, with their babies, and it's just fun to watch them, but it also makes a big visual mess, but I know that they're having fun, and it's super easy to just clean up. Um, but I love um, watching them play together and their imagination. Be the wind to change my fate. Yeah, please just blow this flame away. And I hold on for rainy days. It feels like a decade. Just please come and save me. And it's fire. Now that this is all cleared off, I'm just wiping it down with the multi-surface cleaner that I get from the wellness box. This is um, in the lavender scent, which is smells amazing. Um, so far, I've tried the lavender and the vanilla, and vanilla is definitely a seasonal thing. I think the uh, lavender is too, if I am thinking right, but both smell amazing and love just like that fresh scent and clean smell. Um, got the diffuser going and now I am just cleaning up the table, um, wiping down the placemats and kind of rotating it around too, um, just because you can definitely tell what seats the kids always sit in. Um, so just thought I'd try switching it around to see how that goes. <laughs> And now I'm just cleaning up in the kitchen. Um, I kind of just want to give you like my time frame. So Derek and I were going out this night with his parents and um, 
we had to be done and get our babysitter all by 4.30. And when I started, it was a little after. It was probably 1.30, 1.45 by the time I actually got started cleaning. So all of this day two was done in a yeah, three hour span. Um, so definitely take your time cleaning. It's not a race by any means, just, and if you can't get it all done and I tried to get it all done in this day, um, and it didn't happen and that's totally okay. We can, um, kind of separate things out in days and do what we can, um, every day. Um, my couple things I didn't get done was to clean our fan and clean up the mudroom and, those are things that really needed to be done. The mudroom especially just always gets very dirty very quickly because we just throw our shoes and coats and dirt and whatever just gets, it's visibly dirty all the time. So that one definitely needed to get clean, but it didn't happen that day and that was okay. So I got to do it on the last day that I'm showing you here on day three. You'll see in a little while, but so now I'm just cleaning the sink. I put all the dishes away in putting the dirty ones back in the dishwasher and cleaning the sink. Um, because the, with the white sink, that definitely needs to be like deep cleaned um, for sure once a week, like really scrubbed down to get all the stains and stuff out. Um, so did that and now I am wiping down the oven and getting the rest of the kitchen all cleaned up. Please tell me your kids do that when they see you throwing away a special treat that they made um, because it's just been sitting on the counter for a couple days. Uh, definitely had to be thrown away, but she saw me doing that. So I had to give her a little piece before I threw the rest away. Um, but now I am to cleaning the office, just picking up all the stuff that the kids take out. Honestly, they're the ones who make the mess in here and Derek's the one who stays in here to work. So cleaning up the little mess that they made and just putting things back where they needed to be wiping down the desk and just vacuuming, getting it all back to its order. Last thing on my list that I got done this day was to clean up Quinn's room. It was a disaster and there was clothes everywhere, toys everywhere, like I said. So we were, she was, I had her come and help me put some of her clothes away and the toys. And then we actually ended up moving her bed, getting her old bed frame back up and moving things around. So you'll see that next time I clean her room and, um, you'll see that we kind of move things around and she really loves how it turned out.
so we started by putting all of the clothes away. I was doing all the ones that we had to hang up and Quinn was putting all of her clothes away in her drawers. And then we were going to put the rest of her toys away and vacuum. And um, then we got the idea to move her stuff around. So that's what really took the longest was setting up the new bed and moving things around. Um, definitely could have waited for the next day, but like I said to Derek, I have no chill, so I wanted to get it done because that's just what my mindset was on. So vacuuming quick how the room was right like this, and then we were going to do the bed and move it around. All right, so it was the last day. This was Sunday in the afternoon. Wade was napping. Quinn was having her quiet time playing in her room. And Derek, um, I think, was at the gym at this point. I don't really know. Anyways, but we, I was just cleaning up um, the mud room because you could clearly see it, it looked like almost everybody's, every single pair of their shoes was out on the rug. So putting everything away and then gonna vacuum and put stuff away that was just sitting on the salon table and the chair. There was just a lot of stuff out in the room. So it definitely only needed to be cleaned up and put back where it needed to go. I had stuff from when I painted um, still in here. So this room definitely needed a good clean. Okay, so this is the finished product now that everything is cleaned up and put away. And it always is so satisfying to have this room clean because it's always a mess. And the last thing on my to-do list was to clean this mirror, or not mirror, fan. Um, clearly, you could see how dusty this was. And every time I walked past it, I was like, all right, I need to clean it. And then never did. So look at how dusty that was. Again, I... <laughs> It needed to be done, and I'm so glad it is, and I'll show you how gross and dirty it was when I'm done with it, but this was the last thing on my to-do list, so I hope this video gave you some motivation to get your to-do list done or write down some things that you need to get done um, in your house, but I love cleaning along with you guys and making these videos for you, and I greatly appreciate all the likes and the comments that you guys leave. So if you like these videos, give me a like and subscribe, and I would love to see you guys back next week. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.